headed to Harbor Freight to show you one thing you shouldn't buy and one thing you should. This is the culprit. Taking back this uh, 14 millimeter Pittsburgh ratcheting wrench. These I've taken back too many of these. This one is like frozen in place. It's kind of making noise. It doesn't sound. It isn't even moving now. But basically I broke this. Uh, you know, you'd think a rusty bolt or something that was torqued down way too hard. Well, it probably was torqued down way too hard, but I'm pretty sure that I broke this on the bleeder screw off a Toyota. <laughs> Which is, you just, they shouldn't break that easy. And yeah, sometimes people torque down bleeder screws way too tight, but you know, just doing an oil change on a Toyota 14 millimeters is pretty common. Toyota oil change uh, bleeder screws. Being that I'm an essential worker now, and here we are in the second phase of this global pandemic's horribleness, people getting sick more, and hospitals are getting overwhelmed again, and mechanics like myself need tools, <laughs> right? And, you know, again, as a DIYer, right? Do it yourself or Harbor Freight, one of my favorite stores, but what about now? I still, you know, I still really like Harbor Freight, man, I'm gonna tell you. But there's things that you shouldn't buy at Harbor Freight, and there's things that are really a good deal, and I think that uh, that's why Harbor Freight is still like my my candy store. Here we are in the rainy Pacific Northwest. Harbor Freight. Got mask. Here we go. Mask ready. This mask from work. I'm getting mask zits from work. Also, uh, some of you have like said, how could I help essential workers? One of the things that I, I hear a lot nowadays, like what, what could we do to do a little extra for essential workers? One thing you could do is subscribe to this channel. It helps support the channel. It would help a ton if you hit that like button and subscribe. I know a lot of us YouTubers say that, like and subscribe, but it is incredibly helpful. And as an essential worker, thank you in advance for your for liking and subscribing. I'll hear as someone backs up and and puts their tail lights, that's uh, that's a nice cool effect. I like that. Thank you. But please, yeah essential workers all i ask is is a like and if you enjoy the channel subscribe to it in rainy seattle area washington <laughs> and look at that they're sold out sold out man back home here with the fire roaring in the background uh yeah i get to harbor freight to show you the one thing that you should buy the quantum rechargeable usb rechargeable flashlight and it, it, it's sold out, naturally, because they're awesome. Uh, they don't sell, a lot of these are battery, here's my uh, battery operated one, but as one, I was given this by uh, my master tech when I first started working there. He since left, sadly, but really great guy. Gave me this uh, pen light flashlight. Um, this one takes batteries though, but the Quantum, again, great flashlight. Uh, just plug it in. I have two of them now, so I plug one in when I'm not using the other one, and I, you know, I never run out of battery life. And yeah, on the tool truck, they're $60. Right now, they're 10 bucks. 60 bucks for the same flashlight on the tool truck, and I have dropped that thing many times. I use it every day. I use it several times a day. I have a callus on my finger from turning on and off my flashlight. That's how often we use it. You gotta look into tight places. You're doing brake inspections. You're getting up inside the wheel and checking the brakes for you know how thick the pad is. And we write that stuff down. Very important um, for working on cars, for anybody. If you own a car, you know, for all the DIY mechanics out there, you should be checking your brakes, doing brake inspections before they get to where they're grinding on your rotor, right? Some of them don't always make noise, or some of them you're just used to them making noise. Keep checking your brakes, and uh, Quantum, this Quantum rechargeable flashlight 
is awesome. It doesn't just stand up to me being here at home, but it stands up to me in the shop, um, treating it, using it every day and dropping it a lot because I, I do that. One of my fellow uh, mechanics said that that, that that flashlight will become an extension of your finger, and he's right. Um, I strongly recommend it. It's a great product from right here at Harbor Freight. All right, so back to the G6 project car. Still no condensation, by the way. And uh, got my wrench. Pretty easy, you just trade it in, just got a phone number. It's just the hassle of doing all that, you know? I mean, yes, I know, car, I put my seat belt on. So it's just the hassle of, of having to give your phone number and wait, you know, and as often as they break. So yeah, I don't recommend. I mean, if you're DIY in it, maybe you'll be all right. But again, bleeder screw on a Toyota. <laughs> That's what, I don't know. So, but it, they honor their warranty. It's a lifetime warranty on their tools. It's just a matter of how often you're bringing them back. The pen light that I got, yeah, that's a that's a great little tool. And again, like I said, I use it every day. I've dropped it several times. I've never had a problem. I liked it so much, I bought two of them. And with my Harbor Freight discount, minus my 20%, right, after tax, was about 15 bucks. And I bought two of them. It was 30 bucks for two of them, which is still half the price of the uh, pen, rechargeable pen light that I would have got off the tool truck, all right? So yeah, 60 bucks off the tool truck, no thank you. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things that uh, I like about Harbor Freight. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around. That one, that one takes batteries. Uh, no, this is different. Yeah, this one's $5. But yeah, I bought two of them for $17.99. I spent 15 with my discount.